हेलो फ्रेंड्स नमस्ते माय नेम इज़ पुष्पा खले एंड वेलकम टू माय चैनल वॉच नेकलेस लाइफ विद पुष्पा एज यू कैन सी मी टुडे आई एम वेयरिंग माय ट्रेडिशनल ड्रेस सो बाय दैट आल्सो यू कैन गेस माय टुडे टॉपिक टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू शो यू आवर ट्रेडिशनल एस्पेक्ट ऑफ लाइफ एंड आई विच शो यू वट कैंड ऑफ आइटम्स यू यूज इन आवर डे टू डे लाइफ Uh, I live in city area, so I cannot show you so many items which we use in our uh, traditional houses. So, if time uh, will favor, so I can take you there. Uh, Nepal is a multi-ethnic country. There are uh, here, and they have their own languages, their own traditions and costumes, a way of life. So, there are lots of differences also within this uh, small territory. Among all those uh, ethnic group, uh, there is one community uh, called Purum. So I am also part of that uh, community. And, and the dress which I am wearing uh, that represents uh, Purum community. And our uh, friends, uh, in coming days, I will show you how to wear Purum dress. When you come to Nepal, then you can also try. try on it. And uh, today's content, I have very limited resources to share with you. I hope you will accept it and enjoy my video. And at last, uh, I would like to request you all my friends, uh, please like, share, and subscribe my channel. And this is called jal. Jal means a window. Uh, in our traditional houses, you can see this kind of uh, windows, uh, but in urban areas, we are using it as a souvenir. Um, Uh, this is made by wood. Uh, window which I am showing you, that's a small version of uh, the actual window which we use in our village houses. You can see lots of work on it. This is called Teki. Uh, it used to store ghee or yogurt. Uh, normally it is made with wood but many families like to decorate with silver. You can see variety of tiki. So some are very small, big, and with lead and without lead. And this is puje, and uh, it is used as a um, glass of wine. Our ancestor used this kind of glass to drink alcohol, and it is also made up with uh, wood and silver. These things are antique now, so we are keeping it as a decorative piece. Uh, this is called chhatri, and we use it in, in special occasions in our house. Like one is to put tikka, another is to put flower and fruits like this. It is also made with silver. This is karuba. In ancient time, uh, it was used to drink water, but nowadays we are keeping it as an antique and decorative piece. You can see lots of artwork here. A peacock on on the cap. Uh, this is plain karua. Uh, you can get it in uh, small and big sizes. 
traditionally uh, we use karua in place of glass to drink water and um, milk this is called lota or buna it has the same purpose of serving like uh, karua most commonly used in day to day life this is called karua batti and uh, it is used in special occasions and uh, uh, auspicious events we place the dio on the top you can place the candle as well so main purpose is to illuminate a house uh, with the light Uh, this is our traditional thali set and uh, this uh, plate is called thali and kachora means this small bowl all are made with brass and traditionally we eat on this on this kind of plate and nowadays in our modern houses also these are on use uh, this is a decorative thali as you can see there are lots of work and uh, it is used as a tray also you can see here very detailed carving work and beautiful artwork this is kargan and it is used as a um, cooking utensil in our traditional houses and it's a small version of the actual one and uh, this one is actually used for any big ceremonies and uh, cook food for whole village and this is called gagri and it is used in our traditional houses to fetch and store water and uh, this is also made with copper this is a small gagri which is kept for decoration purpose only but in traditional houses the size of gagri is just double of it and this basket uh, made with bamboo is called pirku and it is uh, used to collect uh, or store uh, dry items like uh, dry meat and dry fruit and uh, garlic this is nanglo chena these are used to segregate uh, grains chapati uh, sitting mat gundri uh, mat made with um, pedi straw traditional houses are built with uh, stone clay and wood so uh, this straw mat help us to protect from the stream cold and in the during uh, winter season uh, this is called shaku uh it is a kind of uh, our traditional umbrella especially for our farmer this is very useful here i'm trying to give you a demo how to use uh, shaku i'm holding asi to cut grass so you can see how we use um, these things this is very comfortable and convenient to walk in the farm uh, using shaku during the uh, rainy season our farmers always use these things in their day to day life uh, this is called radi uh which is made with um, wool and fur of mountain goat and lamb we used to have a big animal farm in the mountain areas and shepherd used to bring fur and wool from mountain and our grandmas used to weave blanket out of that at uh, this blanket also i got as a gift from my one grandma 
uh, this blanket poses a very high value in our culture. Placing this uh, blanket for a guest means giving them a very big respect or honoring them. Uh, this is our uh, dress, this is a set of our uh, female dress. So you can see this number of clothes need to wear by a traditionalist uh, a female in our community. Here I am going to introduce you about uh, these dresses in brief. This is called Gunio and uh, it is made with uh, cotton and it's always dark in shade and color and uh, mostly it's found in um, deep gray and blue color. White line in the Gunio uh, is a, also the part of design and it should be always on the downside when we are wearing uh, Gunio. This is called patuki and it is used on waist part of the body and it is like almost uh, 4 meters uh, in length. Women in the mountain do heavy work also uh, so they need the big support, back support especially. So this patuki helps them a lot. Patuki is made with cotton cloth. And this is cholo. It's a woman's blouse, so it has a no button, so only a small piping is connecting it. Our uh, traditional uh, cholos are uh, made with uh, velvet only, uh, mainly with two colors, red and black. But nowadays, uh, many new things are coming in the fashion. It is called Tikisa and it is used to cover the uh, back side of the body. It is also made with the black uh, velvet. Uh, before use we need to make it like in the triangle shape and then we put in our body we wrap it like this. It is called Kramu and in Nepali it is called Pachari. Pachari you can use in various ways. I am showing you uh, how to use uh, this Pachari with traditional dress. Kramu is uh, considered as a dress of honor in our culture. As a traditionalist, putting uh, Pachari on head uh, symbolizes um, nobility, respect and honor. Uh, but with changing time and modernization, uh, women are nowadays changing this trend also. Now we talk about uh, ornaments. Women in our culture uh, wear varieties of ornament. And the most popular one is uh, this called Piru. Piru is uh, actually coral, uh, which is very expensive and it is uh, more expensive than gold actually coral and gold has a great value in our tradition original piru always decay with the time so we need to take care of it properly that's it for today and thanks for watching my video and see you in next video